right, here's the video review for Fans Project's Terabot, the second in their shells for their Dino King Combiner, the old Pretender. Um, and as you saw, it came just packaged in a you know, stamped brown cardboard shipper. Inside, he comes inside this plastic bag. Um, but really nothing to... No, 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 no bells and whistles in the packaging, really. Um, so here he is. He's a vinyl sculpted one giant chunky pterodactyl here. Um, he does have, unlike... Tricerabot, he does have actually some head articulation there. He can look side to side. <laughs> so there you go. Um, he does have this little place for the uh, robot's weapon to attach, and that piece can come off and attach to either post on the back here. Um, whichever side you want to put it on. Although because of the vinyl, it's, we have trouble to get it on, but you can swap it over to either side if you wish. Let me lock the focus here. Um, yeah, he, he comes with a, a sticker sheet, and I figured out where most of them went. That these two here on the back, you see they're kind of coming off already, uh, were fairly fairly straightforward. Uh, this piece right here goes right here on his chest plate, and this one was taking me a while. One, I thought it was two stickers, and it's actually one sticker that goes all the way across, and it goes right under this, and thanks to Stuart Boyko over on Twitter for helping me figure that out. Um, now, because the way it's printed, there's actually a silver piece in between these two red pieces that makes it a little too long to fold in here. You can see I cut it out uh, so those matched up there in the middle. Uh, I think Stuart just folded his over, but there is a little extra silver in the middle, like a gap like between these two that makes the sticker not fit properly. Uh, across the chest, so you may have to trim it or cut it. Um, I guess you could fold this around the chest, but I, I find bending these things around corners to be a little iffy because of the vinyl and the sticker, and it might not want to stay on if you fold it hard around a corner like that. So I just trimmed it out, and it looks okay. And of course, he's got the slot, so you can use him as a bank if you're not collecting the figures or you have the figures out uh, on your shelf. But you open up the shell here, and you can see Dino Knee fits inside. I don't know if this is the official configuration. I just folded him up until he fit in there. Uh, folded, I basically just folded up his legs and flipped his arms around. He probably flipped the wings around, have him in a different configuration, but he just sits right inside the shell there, and there is room to put his weapon in there as well. So you pop him out, stick this back on, and like I said, the gun can peg in up here to the weapon mount. And if we get him here and Put this guy back out into robot mode real quick, or robotish mode. I may not go the whole way, but just enough to give you an idea. Oh. Put his arms back down. And there's a couple little foot pedals back here. You can stand them on. And he can ride his shell. I thought I, th I thought when I saw this at TFCon there were some posts up here that he could hang on to, but I guess I was wrong about that. I may I may absolutely be misremembering it. It may have been one of the other shells. I'm not sure, but you can have him ride, display him riding his shell, and then just as a quick comparison, here he is with the Tricerabot. Uh, so there's the first two shells. Uh, this one's available at TF Source. Uh, the other ones. The Ankleobot and the Bronclebot and the Brontobot are up for pre-order. So far, they've only gone up for pre-order at fpcore.com. Will that spread out to some other stores? I don't know. Um, I know some of these are going. They're, they're limiting these to 500 now, but they, they've sent out an email about the cost and such. So, uh, if you want one, get one, because I don't know how long they'll be around. They might be around for a while, but uh, as of right now, the only place to get the other two shells currently available for pre-order is on fpcore.com. This one, uh, Terabot's available, I think BBTS, TF Source, uh, have, have them, you can find them in several different places. I um, mean, of course, I do have Dinoichi hiding in here. He's kind of folded up, I'm not gonna pull him out. Actually, you know what, why not, let's pull him out. Have him, show him off both standing on their respective dinos. Just cause in his shelf. You remember, just plugs right in here to the front, snaps back on. I'm not going to mess with his arms, but just to give you an idea, there they are, riding their dino shells together. So it'll, it'll be a neat little display. They are quite large, uh, so uh, you'll, you'll need some shelf space to display them all together. But a neat little option uh, if you're not getting, you know, if you're getting the Dino King. And really, are they necessary? 
I don't I don't think that they're necessary to enjoy Dino King. I think these figures, the way they're coming together, are uh, a very cool figure on their own. But if you want to add a little play value to them, have some cool giant dinosaur banks or whatever, uh, they're out there for you. So yeah, there is Terrobot from Fans Project. And I'm looking forward to getting the two leg bots and, and the shells and having Dino King ride into battle. They're on my shelf at home. <laughs>